we have came across a question quite frequently regarding the configuration of desktop or laptop required for a semiconductor aspirant or a fresher. If you have same question in your mind, stay tuned till the end of the video. When an engineering student is planning to join semiconductor industry, he or she needs to learn few things. These are basically mandatory for all semiconductor aspirants, irrespective of front end or back end. To gain some hold on all these topics, a student need practice and a laptop or desktop with proper configuration so that some free tools and software run on it. Today we will discuss about it. Now let's see what are absolutely necessary to learn. Linux, scripting languages like Perl, Tickle, shell python verilog or vhdl spice and timing tool when you are preparing to enter vlsi or eda domain or just have joined the industry you must gather some domain knowledge along with going deeper into the work you are doing you might be selected for back end although a little bit of knowledge in verilog or vhdl will actually help you those who are not able to figure out how to start preparation for vlsi while doing engineering course or have a confusion how to choose between front end and back end we would suggest go ahead and watch Watch videos on this topic. We have already made videos on these topics. Link of the videos are provided in the description. You will understand what we are saying. There are free tools which can help you to kickstart your VLSI journey. These tools are free and very efficient for learning purpose. We have made a video on these free tools. You can get the whole list and why those tools are used from this video. Here we will discuss what should be the system requirement to install all these free tools. Now let's move to the core of the topic. First, Linux. Most of the desktop or laptop comes with pre-installed license version of Windows OS. Whereas you need to learn Linux. You can use VirtualBox to install Linux in a Windows laptop or desktop. Let's understand what is VirtualBox and what system configuration required for VirtualBox. Oracle VM VirtualBox is a cross-platform virtualization software. It allows users to extend their existing computer to run multiple operating systems including Microsoft Windows, Mac OS X, Linux and Oracle Solaris at the same time. System configuration for VirtualBox. VirtualBox run on Intel and AMD processors. It can be installed on Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Solaris and FreeBSD. On VirtualBox, you can run VMs with Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Solaris, FreeBSD, Novel, Netware and other operating systems. A processor with virtualization technology is necessary for VirtualBox. Most of the processors nowadays come with pre enabled virtualization technology. For high performance and multi-virtual systems, a multi-core processor is required with at least four cores as a minimum requirement. Eight cores are recommended for multiple virtual systems. Minimum 4 GB RAM is required for virtualization. If the RAM is less, the process will become slow or unusable. 8 GB is recommended for running a single virtual machine at a time. 8 GB RAM is required to run more than a single virtual machine at the same time. A minimum of 20 GB storage is required to each virtual machine. 50 GB is recommended to use the virtual machine for a long time. Nowadays, SSD hard drives are available. Although costly, this loads the OS and the software very fast. So we would suggest you to have SSD from the very beginning for your laptop or desktop. Second, scripting languages. Scripting languages like Perl, Tickle, Shell, Python are one of the most essential thing you need to know. It's basically the communication language language in VLSI world. All the tools are enabled operated using scripting languages. To understand or to debug, you need to know the syntax of the languages. These are very light on system resources. For Perl, Tickle, Python, you can install interpreter in Windows and run. We have already made tutorial series on Perl, Tickle and Shell. Installation and the Hello World program are demonstrated in episodes. Relevant video link is provided in description. Number 3. Verilog. For Verilog, Vivado and Icarus Verilog Simulator are the most popular free tools. Vivado is proposed by Xilinx. We have an entire series on Verilog and link is mentioned in the description box. We have 
discussed about these two free tools in the video best kept vlsi secret installation and hello world program video of vivado and icarus verilog are also there links are mentioned in the description vivado is comparatively resource hungry software and so we would recommend 8 gb ram and ssd hard drive here also number four spice p spice and lt spice are popular and free spice simulator these are also not system hungry tools so system configuration suitable for virtual box is sufficient for them next come timing tool for timing analysis we would recommend open timer we have already made tutorial video on that it's not a resource hungry software so whatever system configuration we have recommended for virtual box is sufficient for open timer as a overall system requirement you must need a latest generation cpu either from intel or from amd 8 gb of ram 500 gb of ssd hard drive and preferably a beginner level graphics card for your desktop or laptop the need of the GPU is for the upcoming VLSI tools which use multi-core technologies and club the CPU core as well as GPU cores and once you graduate more and more VLSI tools will join the bandwagon of utilizing GPU. Hope this episode will help you. Please share your comments. We will be back with another video of Q&A. Till then stay tuned, stay focused.